We're going to watch our favorite drama farmer, <laughs> Willie Mac. Uh, same, though, by the way. It's not even an insult. I don't care. We got the Willie Mac hat on. Obviously, if you want to get it, you go to Willie Mac's video and you just go buy it. Okay? It's the Hassan. They got to make a Vosh. You got to make a Vosh one now. A Vosh one. Anyway, yeah, let's get it going. Vosh is unironically evil and should quit. Ooh. Get him. Let's see what we got here, dude. We got, we, we, you love to see it. Let's see. Vosh is the third largest left leaning political streamer. He views himself as an intellectual. I'm actually the largest left leaning political streamer. Uh, I got more numbers on the scale than all three of them combined. Intellectual mastermind. My moral principles are rock solid. I feel like I've yeah. faced him intellectually. <laughs> I'm rock solid too, baby. Actually harassed a girl. Does anybody think that Vosh is like that smart? I'm not trying to be rude. You know, is he a, is he that smart? He just seems like the kind of guy who who likes to use big words to confuse people. You know, I was a smart guy in school too, and then I worked like a regular person job for ten years. Um, I was a manager for a bus company, and you know, I worked with a lot of Hispanic people, and so. One of the things you do is a lot of them were like first generation, not even first generation. I guess they were like immigrants. They were here legally. They were immigrants. They were cool. They were good, hardworking guys, but like they didn't understand everything that you said. So you tried to like talk to them. It's not belittling to try to communicate with people the way that like they can be communicated with. They didn't speak Spanish to me. It wasn't condescending because they didn't speak Spanish. We all just spoke to communicate. And I feel like Vosh tries to use big words sometimes just so that he could feel intellectually superior rather than try to like actually communicate with people. You know, it's more about trying to uh, bludgeon you with like, look how smart I am. I know big words. It's like, okay, but what's the relevance of that? Like, it's, it's more effective, in my opinion, to communicate with people with language that they can actually understand. You know, I just, I don't, I don't think it makes you intelligent to use annoying words for no fucking reason. Uh, but hey, you know what? Maybe I'm just a big, stupid, smelly, stinky little boy. You know, who knows? Girl, and then said she doesn't even deserve basic human rights. Poppy is not worth apologizing to. She is barely worth the fucking in intrinsic human rights to which all human beings. Is this the girl that I was talking about before? Which is why I don't like this guy. Things are in doubt. Okay, um, it, she is a disgusting human being, Ew. and why? that doesn't mean what I did wasn't wrong. It does mean I will never apologize to her. Or outright. Whoa, what the fuck? Rewriting history so he could accuse his critics of the most horrible things. When he was doing his like apologia arc and like laughing and saying that like a woman who was was a retarded child. He thinks he's so smart that. Didn't he just say that basically? Like that he harassed a woman that she was too stupid and deplorable for her to what? He actively tries to justify for CP just for fun. It is possible for an adult and a child ah, to have yes. a sexual relationship. Of course, most of them it wouldn't work out, but the one that I had with the child. It was, of course, beneficial to them. Uh, me as Vosh? What? I'm just joking around, guys. And for it to have positive outcomes oh. on the child. Hey, I, I'll i give you a place to stay in exchange for lifetime of trauma. Mm, looks like the child benefited from that one. <laughs> well, it looks like the child had a pretty big benefit from that one, guys. Case closed. What's the point of that take? Ever. Like, I don't understand. Held as well. Child's right who buy child would mm -hmm. you say they should not be held responsible for doing that? Yes. I would not say that it is uh, unethical oh, for a person to incoming out of context clips, baby. Purchase child <laughs> Making fun of Asma for watching the pedo show Dragon Maid. A uh, Dragon Maid King of pedophile animes. I'm not watching this shit. While accidentally leaking his lolly mm. Doubt. Folder. This is an example of the kind of structure that I'm referring to. Whoa! <laughs> Unsorted, by the way. Could be more. I don't know. Uh, and having his girlfriend draw the exact same childish anime character with eyes rolled into the back of her head, mouth open, blushing. Is that the ag the Ahigo face? I am lear I'm learning. I'm learning about Agi Ahigo, guys. How do you like that? <laughs> In his folder is a character that is 12 years old, as well as other young depictions of girls sucking horse wieners. <laughs> Sucking horse meters. <laughs> I'm sorry. The word, the verbiage makes me giggle. I'm a giggle. I'm a giggling guy sometimes. Vash wants to be a horse, Vash. by the way. I'll make it clear. You can write this down. I want to fuck a woman as a horse. I want to fuck a, a horse woman, not like a girl horse, but like half horse, half woman. But then I thought about it, and like one of two things happens. Like, what's which half is what? If it's the top half is a woman and the bottom half is a horse, I'm never gonna be able to satisfy that beast. But if it's the top half is a horse and the bottom half is a woman, that I can't, I couldn't do it. It would be like, ew, you know. So I feel like you know you kind of lose. It's a lose lose to want to to do that, you know. <laughs> Unfortunate reality. Actually, None of this is this. a secret. I just to be clear, you know, many jokes have been made about this, but I stand by it. My moral principles yeah. are 
rock solid. I'm, I'm, my feet are firmly planted in the ground. Since this has all been exposed, Vosh has been posting about Minna, the childish girl from Zelda, saying she's hot. Asking nice. people in Discord if they've ever abused a minor, and then saying- <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> wow, interesting. hot when someone says they were a victim. This is a incredible journey into the deepest, darkest corners of hypocrisy, dishonesty, and degeneracy. Yeah. This is Vosh. Why do you want to be the horse, Vosh? Because this then I have a, a giant dick. Okay, couldn't you have an, a, a big dick the other way? Well, yeah, I could. Like, yeah, I could have a big dick hypothetically in any variety of scenarios, but then it wouldn't really be a horse dick. Well, you could be a human with a horse dick. Oh, he likes the human. He likes the horse. He likes the specifically the wiener. Okay. Yes, but then I wouldn't have that powerful stallion energy using it. Who saves that sort of thing to their desk? Okay. Maybe this is his idea of making a joke and he's just not funny. But, you know. <laughs> okay. Stop that they also stream. Thank you so much for the two month small gut from Cube Row. Cube Row, glad I caught the Gooning stream. Thank you so much, brother. With. That's a huge security risk. Similar to how data brokers steal your information and sell it to spammers uh -oh. and scammers online. Your full name, home address, health records, relatives. It's all out there. It'll Damn, don't look at my health records, bro. Those are crazy. It'll get stolen when you try and download shady horse photos. I'm just looking at. I'd rather leak my, my Lollicon horse folder to you than you see my health records. That's wild, brother. Not for you, Vosh. That's why I use Aura, oh the sponsor God. of today's video. Aura automatically submits opt out requests to these sites, which would otherwise be impossible for you to do as you can see i've had over all right guys check out aura in willie max description if that sounds cool to you aura.com slash willard mac your 14 day free willie trial mac, to see if your information is getting leaked it's the age of the internet it probably is nice. thank you aura for sponsoring this video i love hentai i need hentai in my life all day all day i love hentai you see talking about cp is very important to vosh he does it year after year if the offender is consuming child porn without paying for it if if you're not paying for child porn if you're just okay. getting it, there, there is no moral or legal argument against that. That wow. doesn't that doesn't also like rope in you guys for the things that you have purchased. I would never um, make the argument that somebody who doesn't. Why? I don't understand this. Like, I listen, I understand the fundamental point. I think that he's trying to be like almost edgy to try to communicate his point, which doesn't work. But his point is like, hey, guys, let's say it takes there's uh, some kids or some slavery happens buying your computer to make certain computer parts. Um, That's bad. And since that's bad and you you were basically supporting the slavery through doing that, that means that morally it consists to be morally consistent. You have to also think that buying CP is the same. That doesn't make any sense because I don't think that anybody like nobody actively understands that buying a computer or whatever parts uh, or generally don't understand that there might be abuse linked to it. Whereas there's no way you don't know a kid's not being abused for CP. Like you have to abuse a kid to get that. I don't have to abuse a kid to get, you know, a computer part. It might happen and we should change that. But that's like th these arguments are just so they're just so dumb. They've never been intelligent arguments ever. They, I just think that they were intentionally provocative to try to get fucking up dudes or whatever they call it. <laughs> just like, I don't know, a tw Twitter attention on that degenerate platform. Um, what about the kid that rings me up at the Chinese restaurant? Exactly, dude. He wants to do that. I usually tip them well when it's like a young kid. Because I want them to be like, yeah, good for you. They're working young. Kids should work. I worked when I was like 12 years old. It, I wouldn't work a lot, but I worked enough. Well, depending on the summer, I worked a lot. But like it, it, it builds character. Kids yearn for the mines. Obviously, <laughs> there needs to be protections, of course. But I mean, who cares? You know, kids should work. I'm just saying. That's my hot, my base to take. Pay for child for consumes in any way has committed an immoral act. I would not say that it is uh, unethical for a person to purchase a purchase. child or purchase blood diamonds. We've all jerked it to Lolly at some point or another. We have at some point in our lives been going fucking crazy on some hentai site and we've been fucking stro <laughs> stroking as hard and fast as we can and then after we nut, we go back, look over our history chat and we go like, oh, geez. I feel like if I was looking at that, I would have known at the time. I don't know. And I would have still been like, no, I'm just kidding. Why? Why so many of these takes? Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> it kind of just sounds like he wants people to be like, yeah, this is normal. I don't know, man. If you're into that kind of stuff, I don't think it's the same as an actual kid. I certainly think it's concerning, and you should seek some help, you know? But I don't think yeah, you should be on the internet bragging about it. You know what I mean? It's like, what are you doing? I like jokes too, guys, but this this one is tough because, you know, I like to joke about stuff like, um, you know, some degenerate stuff, but I'm not kidding. I, I look at it, and that's what I think this is. <laughs> You know, it's it, everybody likes a nice. Uh, everybody loves some water sports sometimes. There's nothing wrong with that. Arm. Okay, I have to stop. I'm going a little too crazy now.
Oh, um, boy. oh boy. Some of these girls look pretty young. Okay, I don't give a fuck. He's debated oh, Mr. Geez. Girl who was banned for being openly attracted to 11 year olds. When I remember your review of Cuties. Uh oh. And my problem yeah. with Cuties is <laughs> making those kids do the type of entertainment. I think it's wrong. Whether it's legally right. I'm not sure. I think it's wrong too. Yeah, I, think, I, think, I said that in the review. I why did you say the girls were attractive? And maybe well, I misunderstood. Just, okay. No, no, because they were. But listen. Incredible guy. Listen. Ah. I, I, during the debate, Vosh said that the because they were most popular strip club for men in America would probably outside of the weird acts that those young people had to do in cuties. It was a decent story because it was a coming of age story that was about the dangers of sexualization. Um, Because like I watched it because people complained about it a lot. I found it uncomfortable at times, but for the most part, like it, the one thing I will say for it, even though I do think it was inappropriate, is that it didn't say that what happened was good. It wasn't like, yeah, see, these kids are sexualizing themselves. That's a good thing. No, they were like, this is wrong. And at the end of the movie, the girl realized that that was like very bad for her as a person. Uh, it still gets very uncomfortable at times. I understand why people don't like it, but um, it doesn't like it doesn't glorify that type of behavior. So <clears throat> probably be 14 to 17 years old in one strip club. The strippers are 25, 24, 23, 22, all the way down to infants. Which club is the most popular? I, I men, straight men are going and, and they're women. Culturally, I don't think that we've done anything to appropriately discourage that kind of predatory behavior towards girls. So my guess is that it would be somewhere between 14 to 17. I mean, I disagree. I think that we've done a decent amount to discourage the inappropriate, uh, you know, for, well, we could do better probably, but, uh, you know, just having an age of consent that's higher than 14 will push people away from wanting to fuck 14 year olds, you know, and socialize them to not think that's appropriate. Maybe in Viking times, they would go around and rape anything, but fortunately, I think that we're a little better than that. Um, he got away with this for years because Vosh would always say it was out of context, but the conversation would resurface when Vosh would leak his Lolly folder. Lolly is anime that focuses on younger or young looking girl characters that act sexually suggestive or erotic. Vosh has been very yep. harsh towards people who consume Lolly, saying that they're probably hiding something. I've had uh, a bunch of links uh, thrown at me to people who are, again, very, but it, you don't understand. It's just short stock, dude. It's like when you go to IHOP, bro, and you get a, a stack of three pancakes instead of five. You don't understand. Sussy. Trying to argue there's not actually, it's actually healthier because it's only three pancakes and not five. See a relationship between instances of child predation and uh and and access to like lollicon or whatever um, well, i would i would i would assume there is a correlation between people who really want to believe that and and people who are so yeah i'd be willing to bet that the widespread consumption of hentai lollicon whatever you know i um i still think that uh it, it, it normalizes quite negative things you know we have at some point in our lives been going crazy on some hentai site and we've been stro <laughs> stroking as hard and fast as we can and then after we nut we go back look over our history chat and we go like oh geez Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Some of these girls looked pretty young. Okay, oh, I don't God. give a f all right? Crazy to think he wasn't joking here. If you're in <laughs> into Lollicon, <laughs> like, uh... people always say this. People always say, bro, it's just drawings. Okay, drawings of what, right? Civil War, okay, states' rights over what, you know? Why are you into what? that? What elements of that are you into, you know? And I think there's no way to answer those questions without at least being somewhat introspective about the underlying issues. It made okay. people wonder if he was projecting. Suddenly screaming out of context was no longer a good excuse. And Ethan would destroy that narrative. Why is the possession of- Ah, uh, but guys, Ethan is a bad actor in this scenario. <laughs> I found it very interesting to see how many people like rode or died, like ride or died for Vosh. It was so weird. You know, like I under, like even if you think he's a good guy that I don't know, looks at this stuff because you don't think it's that problematic. I don't know. I just, I don't get it. Like, it's, it's super, like, I, I do you not understand why it's super uncomfortable for a normal person to see somebody with these takes about Lollicon and then, like, looking, or a uh, child porn and then looking at actual Lollicon? Like, I don't get it. It's like the whole the online community is so terminally online. They forgot what it was like to be a normal person with, like, a normal brain that doesn't think that these things are, like, casual. I don't, I don't know. <clears throat> child porn be immoral because it hurts people to make child porn. Yeah, because you yes, have to hurt yes, children yes. to make it. That's why it's immoral. It's not magically immoral. It's immoral because of the harm that is caused by it. So, okay. do we not possess other things that you sound like someone who's trying to rationalize child abuse? Like, the argument that I was making essentially is that people are inconsistent in their moral outrage at commodities which hurt people when they're produced. Okay. Wow. So, people will laugh off cocoa butter or chocolate mm. or um, you know or or cobalt or other you know products that. We tend to get through a really, really unethical system, but then they're really, really quick to denounce. You guys know I love me some chocolate. <laughs> child porn. This man says you eat chocolate and you dare to care about child pornography. 
That's what his point is, right? Those things can be produced ethically. Mm -hmm. Child pornography cannot. Yeah, the huge difference is one product is a phone where the abuse is taking place somewhere in the raw materials phase. The other one is grown men getting off the pictures of abuse. Exactly, dude. Plus, they're not American children, so who cares? They're not really people. I'm kidding. That was a joke. That was a, joke. That was a tolerable joke. Um based though? No, I'm just kidding. If you take out the abuse when manufacturing a phone, the end product is still a phone. Whereas with CP, the abuse is the product. It sounds like an argument only a pedo would make. Vash has been making this argument for years. His audience loves it. I stand by that and I'll continue to stand by that. I think my understanding, and I could be wrong about this. I, I, you know, I like to be, you know, my understanding is that Vosh like disavowed these takes before. Um, and that these takes are a bit old. You know, my thing is, is that more of like, you know, you, you made all these takes and then you have Lollycon, it's a little weird. So that's where I come from with that. <clears throat> Until I hear good. But you believe that some consumerism is more ethical than others, right? Not all consumerism is equal, right? It's not all equally unmoral, right? I would I would argue that in a in a, a um in the sense as to its outcomes, yes, obviously there are some forms of consumption that are less ethical than others. But in terms of what it means for an individual's like ethical state, I would not argue there's a difference. I would not argue that there is anything wrong. And I'll, and I see somebody dis, uh, disbelief in in in. Uh, it's so interesting because I know he never believed this, and the reason why I at least I feel that way is I've seen people. Um, talk about the varying degrees of abuse, like socialists, and how there is some that like you have to engage in. There's no product that you have in your house that didn't have some level of some kind of abuse attached to it, whether it was somebody in another country getting paid less money or et cetera, et cetera, through like tomatoes or this or that. So for him to have this take, it just doesn't make sense to me. Like what you would never have this take because we know that like different like you need some products to survive and if the only way that you can get tomatoes um is through some guy in fucking peru or i don't know countries or some farmer getting like a wage slaved like what are you supposed to just not eat them i mean i i don't know i feel like i hear socialists talk about this all the time like oh these are some necessary you know things that we have to buy i, I guess you don't need to have a phone although that's debatable if you want to exist in our landscape and actually get like a decent job um I don't know. I, he, whatever. Uh, maybe he maybe he changed his mind uh, or something. Uh, uh, super chats. Yeah, like that's what they'll say a lot. There's no ethical consumption under cath uh, capitalism. So then, like by this logic, some uh, buying some things like if you're acknowledging there's no ethical consumption and you're realizing that, and that's what you're using to justify people buying Starbucks, then how would you have the take that like it's just as bad as CP? I don't. I it doesn't make sense to me. Or did he not have the no ethical consumption argument? after his dumb bullshit CP argument. I don't know. I would not say that it is uh, unethical for a person to purchase child Yeah, it's very, it's not unethical for a Persian to purchase it, okay? Child pornography or purchase blood diamonds. Because okay. I don't see a major difference between that and again, buying a computer with silicon that was mined up by literal child slaves. This is the supposed context everyone thinks is- But they got paid like, they got paid like a penny an hour. So technically, is that a really a slave? Just people right. don't know where the diamonds come I, from. People yeah. don't know where the cobalt come from. People don't know where the chocolate comes from in most cases. Yeah. In a lot of cases, there is ethical versions you can buy. But like the average person CP is not going to know is suffering yeah. and exploitation. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. what it, it, that's what you're buying. And Bosch still has a phone, a computer. He drinks coffee. If it's all the same to him, does that mean he has actual CP somewhere next to his tax folder? I don't know. Maybe he uses that as like an uh, argument as to why it's OK for him. Maybe he, that's his rationalization of looking at lolly stuff. It's like, well, I have a computer anyway. You know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to put too much energy into this guy. You know, I, I, I like in a way that he's like this horrible predator. I just think that he's like a. He's just kind of like a slimy little insect that, you know, preys on drunk girls. <laughs> Sorry, I don't, I don't know. He just gives me the vibe. Um, you know, just like people will say that I give them a racist vibe. And guess what? It's true. <laughs> Sorry. Pedophiles, right, who buy child pornography. Mm -hmm. Would you say they should not be held responsible for doing that? Yes. Really? If I don't think that they should be held responsible to the same degree as like creating it, but yeah, yeah, they should be held responsible. Why wouldn't they? Even though they're <clears throat> directly supporting child. Yeah, I think that's it's uh, it's hypocritical. If if I because I, I bought my computer and the silicon in it was farmed in Africa by slaves. If I can do that and that's legal that's... and no one's going to call me out my shit, then yeah, I have to be consistent in that respect. So we own oh, CP. Wow. Cool boy, you really showed us with that superior moral. That is true. Have you ever considered that children yearn for the mines? Um, duh. Consistency. Vosh's response to all of this was to say it's all out of context. For those of you who don't know, Ethan Klein <sighs> and his um, uh, and his dirty little Kleiners friends over in the H3 Pod dedicated about two hours of the podcast to doing like a like the plat. Oh, he's listening to he's listening to bloody tears. Tonic ideal of a bad faith Vosh is a takedown, including like like everything like like uh, 
five years ago, like stuff that's been addressed so long that, I mean, I didn't see it. I saw people in my Discord talk about it. I didn't want to watch it myself, partly because <sighs> it would just make me upset. Yes, you heard that right. Vosh is making the argument. Ethan took him out of context. Why don't you just talk to him then? I don't understand. Like, you're a literal, you're a debate nerd. Like, why wouldn't you just talk to Ethan? Why did you cower away from the conversation? Text, but he didn't even watch the stream. Why is it a recurring thing that you get accused of? Well, for the most part, I think it's oh, just- because I'm fucking dumb. Because people hate me. I got the impression I got a really bad rap, and I feel like a lot of the stuff that I've said looks pretty bad without context. I mean, maybe part of that's true. People do hate him because he's such a pretentious dick, you know? <laughs> me too, I guess, though. People don't like me. I understand. But the frustration is that I am very presently defending all of it or adding I think it's because I'm fat. I'm going to try to be less fat and ugly. <laughs> <laughs> you know, then maybe people will like me more. I'm fucking joking around. Context it. or... You know, uh, it's out. Everybody hates me because they're fat phobic. Correcting deliberate dishonesty. What do Sneeko, Frush, and Fit, Hassan, and Bosch all have in common? <gasps> they they're white. Legitimate criticism, they will never engage with specific points. They'll just always vaguely say that you're lying, hoping their audience blindly believes them. This is one of those situations where you have to... Bro, you know what's funny? I saw, like, this thing the other day. It was very small, but, like, Hassan was criticizing Ben Shapiro and Jordan Peterson for talking about relationships. And, uh, you know, criticize people if you want, but Hassan's a 30-something-year-old man that's unmarried and never been in a stable, long-term relationship. So, like, that explains to me how that doesn't make you the same as fresh and fit. That talk about how the, like relationships, even though they're not in a stable long term relationship with somebody of their own age, <laughs> I don't understand. Um, because they like to date kids, well, like nineteen year olds, but still, I mean, come on, <clears throat> I don't, I don't understand. I does, I don't know. Why would you? Why? why you know, I don't get it. Appreciate the fact that I must be pretty great for people to have to lie that much and that you, aggressively. Yeah. Uh, to try to take me down. Make that's incredible. Like, listen, I've had, listen, okay, on the internet, I've had my moments where people would take me out of context and go after me and stuff. And it sucks. It does. It does suck. Um, it happens, I think, to a lot of people, okay? But I've never had the take of, like, I must be so great that these people want to go after me. Like, that's just delusional. I've had the take of, like, my, generally now people take me out of context, although it happens significantly less. Obviously, maybe because I'm not as relevant. <laughs> but I'm just, like, I try to look for like the reasonable criticism in there. You know? That's what I try to do. So, and I try to, op oh my God, my operate accordingly. Sorry, my jaw hurts. Um, but to be like, oh, it must be amazing if you're lying about me. It just kind of seems conceited. I don't know. King up lies to discredit Ethan. I think uh, at some point he was like, huh, as if I would ever be friends with this, which is really disingenuous because the last time we talked on Twitter, no, I think what he was saying is that, like, you weren't friends. You were just people who have associated before in private DMs, and that doesn't create a friendship, and it's weird that you would consider it as such. DMs, he was really friendly to me. Ethan said that I had... Yeah, you know someone takes me to context a lot? Oh, yeah, is it you, August? <laughs> like, a folder full of CP or something? What the f***? Where did Ethan say this? What I don't remember frick? him saying that. I can't find it in the transcripts, but I guess he did, because Vosh said so. Vosh's True. defense for the lolly in his folder is absurd. I was going to open up an image with right-click, open a new window, but instead I did right-click, save as, and it opened a folder called to be sorted the to yeah. be sorted folder which is where i put images that have yet to be sorted and <laughs> what really is in case the name didn't indicate that was the place that it went to because the file type of the image which was like i don't know jpeg or something oh fuck, i don't know he's making this sound so complicated when all people want bro you had a fucking volley in there want to know is why you have a folder full of lolly um the last image that i saved to the to be sorted folder was an image of marcel from dungeon meshi being roasted by um uh, Gordon Ramsay while cooking a mandrake. To be clear, it's- Why do you even save that? Like, oh, like everything aside, we're focusing too much on the lolly. Why are you saving that? That's weird. Why would you even save that? All porn. With three more folders that contain more porn. Hold on. Let me show you the architect of my pain. There we go. It's a good anime, guys. And okay. A good manga. I just, why would you have this picture? This is, this is also cringe. Anyway, I saved that there. This picture isn't even one of the leaked images. He's lying entirely. What I saw was little anime children getting plowed by giant horses. Oh yeah, well the fact that you looked at them too, Willie, means that you're the pedophile. I had people coming in saying, well, how come Ethan can look at it and he's not a, p a pedo, but Vosh is. First of all, I don't know that Vosh is a pedophile. I think it makes him a creep, but I don't know that that makes him that because I, uh, you know, it's not an actual kid. But I don't know though. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a scientist. Um, I don't, uh, you know. <laughs> so I don't think that it makes him a danger to kids necessarily because he's looking at this stuff. I could be wrong. Um, but like, obviously you have to identify, like Ethan has to identify and be like, look, this is gross. He's not sitting there like, I got to look at this off camera and start jacking off. Oh my God. Like, 
It's just a dumb take. It's weird. He thinks he's defending himself, but he's not. non graphic canon images. Hipsters are the same thing. What's going on with that guy, man? Like, I feel terrible for him. What is he doing with his life? <laughs> I feel like Tipster struggle. I feel like Tipster is the kind of guy who like struggled to make friends, and now when somebody wants to be his friend, he rides or dies for them so hard that he just makes himself look foolish, and you know, sad stuff, man. Uh, that's sad stuff, you know. Is of Raru from the, the Legend of Zelda: Tears of the Kingdom, which is fuck is Raru? Is that a bird person? Funny because there are far more pornographic images of Raru in there than there are non-pornographic images. What is a Ra What is Raru? Zelda. What the fuck? This guy? Why do you have porn of this guy? Is he got porn of this guy? Is he an owl? I'm so fucking confused. Wait, is this Raru? You know what? I don't care. But honestly, Raru just looks so good that even non pornographic images feel graphic to me. Yeah, an innately graphic character design. It's a goat. A oh. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta listen. Actually, graphic images feel graphic. Graphic images, but honestly, Raru just looks so good that even non-graphic images feel graphic to me. Yeah, an innately graphic character design. It's a go. The only thing that I find weird about that, I listen, and I've never really looked at a non-pornographic picture and gone like, "This looks pornographic." I wonder. Uh, I wonder. I don't know. I wonder if there's other pictures of other things that are in there that are not considered pornographic to most of us, but he likes them so much that he still jerks off to them because that's what... You know what I mean? I don't know. Oh, eventually Vosh's chat would pressure him into addressing the lolly. Of the images that showed, two of them were from the same artist. Two of them, those from that artist, that artist turned out to be a lollicon. One out. of the two images? He's making it sound like there's only two pieces of lolly. No, there's tons. There's only two from that artist. I can't show to defend myself. No. And even if they're not pornographic, who's to say they're not uh, still a little sussy based on the way that he's been talking about this stuff, right? Like, like I don't like who's to say he doesn't jerk off to the not the ones that we would consider non pornographic, you know? Nor would I encourage you to go look it up because this is a lolicon artist, so I don't like want to direct you to that, you know? But one of them, one of the two images from this lolicon artist, okay? To be clear. One of them flatly did not look like Lolicon. I'm sorry, you can say it's defensive. I think that's bullshit. I literally went back and looked. The chick is like six heads tall. It's a sexualized version of this VTuber. Ah! Sorry. That's a kid, bro. His <laughs> avatar. Made by a famous Lolly artist who Vosh has declared not Lolly because- Famous? <gasps> Good for them. ...of her height. The other pictures in Vosh's folder are also way creepier. The other one um, is like a threesome with two chicks and a guy. And in retrospect, looking at, knowing now that that artist is a Lolicon, yeah, I can see it. Oh, that's how you know it's real bad. <laughs> when I looked at it, I think the vibe Yeah, I could see it. Vibe that I got was like short stack thick mm, kind of thing. You know yep. what I mean? But we hey, we've all I've we've all been there jacking off to pancakes, brother. All the time, dude. Literally food I will get sometimes I get hornier for food than I do for women. It's a real thing, brother. I've always thought about using syrup as some kind of lubrication, but then I think that's a that's too messy to clean up. You got to keep in mind the mess, the cleanup, all right? That's why I've never let my wife shit on me because it's like, it might be hot, but the mess would be terrible. <laughs> but that's too... <laughs> but that's too much of a mess, dude. You know what I mean? I like that. Uh, like the way, uh, like, goblins <laughs> get drawn in porn. What? The fuck? He says that like... Hey, listen, I've looked at goblin stuff too, buddy. I don't know what to tell you. Like his community can relate, it also doesn't explain the 20 worst photos on his hard drive. It was intended to be a lolly drawing. So, like, that's how it is, right? It's a drawing, you get it without context. I know that when I save them, I save them because both the drawings have, like, a meaty dick in it, and I'm a huge size queen. Ah, see, he didn't save it because of the little girls. He saved it because of the massive- Ah, now I get it, guys. He liked that it was so big compared to those little baby children. <laughs> they It looked even huger. Ah, well, you know what, you know what Vosha always says? It looks 10 inches in a baby's hands. <laughs> Bro, I'm going to be... There's going to... Five years from now, I'm fucked. Five years from now, I'm, com I'm completely fucked. It's actually over for me. I got to collect as much money now as possible because this is it for my career. This is it. This is it, guys. It's over. We're, we're done.
cock on their <laughs> face. Bosch is innocent. There is no cock like horse cock. Send your asshole into shock. I was really confused about the amount of horses in Bosch's folder. They're all plowing little girls. But I didn't realize it was because Bosch wanted to be the horse. I want to... Uh, f that makes it a lot better. Yeah, of course. I gotcha. Woman as a horse. So you want to be the horse banging the little girl. We should have known there was something weird going on when Vosh replaced the Sistine Chapel painting with himself and a horse for his Twitter banner. Incredible. He has loads of messages over the years about horse cock. People, you know, and this is one of those, like, it's one of those, like, you know, okay. everyone shirks now, but if a person, if a human <sighs> had a horse penis, you know, just somehow, whatever, people would be lining up to fuck them. So I um, why? I feel like it would actually kind of fucking rock, you know, because actually most women like an average size, guys, okay? Maybe only 1% of people can take you, but those people will live to take you. They'll travel across the world. They'll buy you. I, you know what's so funny? I know what he's referring to. There was this like a uh, video that was this one guy had like a 13 inch wiener. Surprisingly, it was a white guy. Actually incredible. I think he has the biggest wiener recorded in the world um, or that's alive. And girls would want to come and fuck him even if they couldn't. I wonder if Vosh saw that and it really spoke to him. I was just like, wow, that's crazy. That's what I got out of that. But I guess Vosh decided that that's his new life's mission to transform. Chicks will buy you dinner. They <sighs> can sit on your side of the booth so they can have their hand on your fucking 12 inch flaccid. Now a grown man. Oh, Jesus Christ. Well, he, I know I'm a degenerate, but this guy takes the cake. Why are you always thinking about stuff like that, man? <laughs> the fuck? Fantasizing about wanting to be a horse is sad, but what's even sadder is his defense against Ethan. He reverts to crying, acting like they were longtime friends. Let this be a sterling example of how right I was to be incredibly disposed against reaching out to people or making friends or engaging with others. Because damn, dude, like I, of of all of the people uh, who I thought I was solid with, Ethan Klein was pretty far up there. This why you guys talked a little bit in chats? Why do you? Why do you have so much, like, why? Why would you even think that? It's so weird. This is out of the blue for me. So maybe it's an autism thing. Maybe I can't read the signs. I don't know. You may Come on, Vosh, knock it off. Make a friend, but it turns out there's almost always... It, listen, I'm not trying to be an asshole here, but it's Vosh, like, Vosh might actually have autism, but, like, let's... Can we not pretend that he's anywhere close to somebody with, like, high, like higher support needed autism? Like, <laughs> I don't know, dude. I don't know. I think he's trying to hide behind his autism. My wife, work, my wife works with people with, like, autism that, like, struggle immensely with it. Bosch is nowhere near any of that. You know, I have ADHD. I have fucking OCD. I'm dyslexic. You don't see me sitting here. Maybe it's my... Maybe I'm looking at Lollicon and thought that we were best friends because of our my autism. <laughs> because of my ADHD. It's like, okay. Maybe it's my Tourette's that did it. My Tourette's made me shake so hard. Oh, I was, I was having tics. And I, oh, 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 God. I saved this picture. Oh, it's not my fault. It's not my fault. I read the save as report to the FBI because I'm dyslexic. I was <laughs> I was having a tick. I accidentally looked at it. Sorry. More clout. I accidentally saved it and I forgot to sort it. And I was going to sort it into the garbage can. I saved it to report to the federal booby inspectors. What? What the fuck? Be found and performatively tearing you down. Maybe yeah, Ethan man. should look into how much Vosh took his side in the whole Hassan thing. I don't give a f about that. <laughs> dude, 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 what the oh, and even if like that's true, let's say I'm grateful that he defended me against Hassan, then I'm like, yo, just because this guy is a kind of like defending child pornography, he was nice to me that one time, so <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna let it slide. He said it's very disheartening. I thought I had something of a friend in Ethan. <laughs> that's a new message. You got a friend. Based on what? Vosh's other argument for why Ethan shouldn't. Ethan, Vosh actually thought Ethan was the lollicon and he was the horse. <laughs> he, he thought he had something in him. What a sad thing, guys. F in the chat for Vosh. Sad, sadness in the chat. Criticize him is that it's an election year. The main thing I'm concerned mm. with is... Is that I'm so important to the election. I really got to get Joe Budden elected. Not Joe Biden. I don't know if that guy can really talk too well. We got to get Joe Budden elected. He's a, I think that's a, is he a black guy? First black, well, not even the first Joe. Jesus. Joe Budden. Is he a good president? Let's see. Is he gay or something? Is Joe Budden gay? Oh, he denies being gay. I don't know why I thought that. Let's move on. Frankly, there's just a lot of people in Ethan's audience who I think have the wrong idea about me. Yeah, and I think yeah, that yeah, some of them yeah, might be yeah. pulled over. You know, not all. The well's been pretty poisoned, but some of them. 
And I, so then why wouldn't you have a conversation with him if you thought he could pull them over? I think it's important to do that. Not only because it's beneficial to me from an obvious career perspective, no, no denying that, but also because it's an election year, you know, all hands on deck. It is going to get bad. Yeah, Joe Biden's going to lose the election this year because of Vosh's point folder. That's <laughs> why we can't talk about it. I can't. It'd be so funny. If people were like, oh, you want to you wanna vote Biden? Look at this. This is a prime example of one of his typical enjoyers. H3 would do another live stream addressing every criticism from Vosh and bring the mountain receipts to back him up. You'd think Vosh would at the least admit that his CP argument was stupid, but no, he can't admit he's wrong about anything. Vosh's response was to say that Ethan's lying, but never showed how he lied. Oh, Caught bits of the, the stream today and uh, blood was waffling. You know, this is one of those situations where you have to appreciate the fact that I must be pretty great for people to have to lie that much and that aggressively. Uh, you're right, Vosh. You're a great guy. Uh, to try to take me down. You're you know? a great guy. Uh, that's, I, I, I must be pretty cool. Can you name like a single decent person that likes Vosh? I'm not trying to be an asshole, but like who actually likes this guy? Like he's outside of the lolly stuff, he's still a, a piece of shit. <laughs> he's just still a scumbag. Why the fuck likes this guy? I don't get it. Cool, actually. Um, My wife doesn't like him. That's all I need to know. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Not everyone will agree, of course, but that's why you have to take some time. The whole point of a character assassination is to construct an environment in which yeah. any act. It's interesting that you think Ethan cares that much about you to want to want to assassinate your character. Like this, there's this, uh, there's this heavy implication that there was a, like a magical conspiracy narrative out to get him, or something. I'm surprised he wasn't like, I've seen Ethan cozy up to Destiny a little bit, referencing him in a positive way for a while now. I think maybe maybe the two of them are conspiring behind the scenes. Is that what you think? Accusations can't really be defended against, right? It wouldn't be much of a character assassination if you could undo it by saying the truth after, right? If that was the case, why would anyone do a character assassination if it could be undone so quickly? It should be that easy. Boshi was threatening to post the DMs from YouTube. He did post those DMs. They made him look bad. No, they do not. They yeah, I'm waiting for Ethan. I'm waiting for me to get relevant enough for Ethan to look at my uh, old out of context stuff. That'd be fun. That'd be fun. Honestly. <laughs> Probably. I mean, I don't I feel like I'm, I think I'm pretty solid. I might have had some, you know, disagreeable or rough takes sometimes, but uh, certainly never been like, guys, CP is okay with me. DMs so. are Ethan <sighs> asking Vosh if he wants to come on after Vosh asked to come on. Vosh crying to Ethan about not reaching out first. Then Vosh inviting Ethan on his stream. Ethan accepts it. And then Vosh takes back his invitation to debate. Damn. He would post on Discord that he's backing out of the debate because Ethan's acting in bad faith. If Ethan's acting in bad faith, then show how he's doing it. I've done it to many people over the years. He doesn't because Ethan's coming from a sound. Oh, I thought you meant that you should... <laughs> We've acted in bad faith to people over the years. Place. Vosh screaming bad faith is just him begging his audience to dismiss Ethan. Vosh's final defense was to claim that Ethan's making Nazi arguments. All I know is that yeah. it's either complete nonsense or fully encapsulated by stuff that we've been debunking for literal years in this channel. What does There's that mean? There's functionally no difference, at least not, um, you know, morally or experientially, uh, between this and any other time Nazis have gotten rowdy about me. Uh, oh, yes. The, the, the Jewish guy is Nazi adjacent. Oh, yeah. What do you think about this? I look like I could be a horse. Boom. What's it? Come here, Midna, Medina. Midna. Come here. But only the adult version. Because that's, that's a fucking kid, bro. It looks like a... It just looks like shit. It's an ugly little fuck. But the adult one's not too bad, I hope. Wait, how old... How old is adult Midna? Over 18. That's it. I don't care. Whew. Got it. Oh, you know, it's it's just people in chat. I think are acting differently because some of you guys like or liked Ethan, uh, mm -hmm. which is yeah. fine, and I understand mm -hmm. that. I understand. That, that being said, I come off as very reasonable here, so I must be right. You can't mm -hmm. harsh my vibe, guys. You know, it's it, it takes it burns mm -hmm. yes. a lot of calories sitting here being right all the time. This guy wants to fuck his lizard, and one of the based actually. The geckos will run down and jump off my dick like they're giving me a full body hand job. I put a gecko on my dick for a picture once and it licked it, and then in the what the fuck, dude? <laughs> What's up with this guy's DM? Okay. Maybe it's his autism, guys. Maybe he just doesn't understand social interaction. Same conversation, he says. Yeah, consent is irrelevant for animals. Even pets get no say in being locked up, taken away, fixed, or euthanized. I don't think bestiality... Yeah, you know, here's the thing. I think that there's probably a slight difference between r raping your dog versus... Uh, feeding your dog. I mean, I can kind of agree. You're kind of enslaving your dog when you make him stay in your house. Um, thankfully we have rules against abusing animals. One of those rules says don't fuck them. I don't know if you ever knew, heard that. Uh, that's just a hot take I have. I know a lot of people are very, very disagreeable with that. <laughs> I know it's one of the hottest takes you've ever heard. Not to fuck your dog or cat. 
Um, but yeah, man, that's why you don't do that stuff. That's why it's there. It should be a crime. He's graping his pets. The droopiness of his cat's butthole has me worried. The Nazis are winning this. Oh my God. Stop. <laughs> this one, dude, a broken clock is right twice a day. His trap would beg him to engage. Vosh says no. Vosh, this shit just annoys me because it could be literally disproven by taking 10 minutes out of your day to... Yes, that's what lies are. This, this isn't a, a product of poor research. It's just... Uh, it, what he's trying to say is that it's, he's, he's trying to signal this is more than a lie. He's trying to signal this is a conspiracy theory. And one of the things about conspiracy theories is that they're un, you, can't, you, you can't use facts to disprove a conspiracy theory because the conspiracy is based on not facts, right? The problem is, is that like we, there's you saying these things. And at the very least, you should try to defend yourself with the, with the best context that you have available. <clears throat> you know, under normal circumstances, I would understand why someone maybe wouldn't want to like go through the time of day to try to like to do that, that, but he's a debate Lord, you know? So why wouldn't you want to defend yourself? Even, you know, go piece by piece, construct the argument. I don't know. It's, it's lying. I think me and chat just like, maybe this could have been your huge break because you talked to Ethan about it. You know, <clears throat> really want this to be something that could be resolved if someone just sat Ethan down to the facts. No. Nope. Wow, for something that's so easy to do, he sure won't do it. He then starts. He's like leaning into the I don't, the 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 Ethan hate by like, there's no point because it's not going to be productive kind of a thing. But I, I think that even those people that don't like Ethan are on Ethan's side here, so you don't really. It's not really going to work out, brother. Coming people out for talking about it. You know, you all need to get it out of your system now because I will be muting you people for continuing to drama farm and chat when we're playing. Ooh. Valheim. This one is a bigger. All right. Valheim. Ew, what a weirdo. What the fuck are you playing that great game for? Play Power World. Okay, you're right. No amount of speeches will dispel you guys from wanting to whine. Mutes it is. Benjamin, if you do that again, you too. The title of the stream is Post H3 Podcast After Party, but he won't engage with a single point. It's the title of your show. But even weirder are the people defending it. <laughs> yeah, true. Need you and I. You've always been in my life. Oh, uh, this legal team, I think, is uh, ChatGPT. Three prominent creators defending Bosch are Keffels, Tipster, and Jalen. They called. Damn, Jalen too. I can't. I can't keep defending you, Jalen. <laughs> I just can't. Uh, I feel like I'm probably the nicest person when it comes to my public uh, stuff about Jalen, and it's just like, what are you doing? Come on. Even if you, I, God, where, you know, even if you believe Vosh, where's your sense of uh, self-preservation? What are you doing? And showering. Where's your sense of showering as well? Come on. Do you see? <laughs> Damn. Ethan bad faith and accused him of taking things out of context. When asked what context is missing, they would pearl clutch about irrelevant topics. How often are you being accused of being a people that you need a nickname for it? If the jacket fits, you must not acquit. Yeah, like, so, um, that's the pedo jacketing thing. People are jacking, whatever. I thought it was pedo jacking, but whatever. My thing is, is that, um, yeah, I understand why that term exists. There's a lot of people that will falsely claim somebody's a groomer or a pedophile or this or that, and that, that especially on the internet where the narratives get lost very quickly. So I understand why the term exists. I guess I disagree there, but, um, okay. <sighs> Ethan. I don't know if you realize how optically bad what you just said looks. This looks why? Why does it look optically bad? It just looks like he doesn't know that people are constantly getting falsely accused of things. Um, a little ironic, but <laughs> we're not gonna go there right now. Terrible, Ethan. Why? You are talking to a community of people, the LGBTQ community, which are very regularly accused of being pedophiles and groomers constantly. I agree. Uh, why are you? Why are you getting so? I agree. I agree. There are LGBTQ people will get accused of being groomers, but why? Are you, why is there so much weird energy here? Constantly being accused of these things, and you're going to ask them the question: How often are you being accused of being a p that you need a nickname for it? Based. This guy got in trouble for Lolly. Can you tell? It's a very, <laughs> very contentious Damn. topic, to say the least. And I think the thing that I hate the most okay. about this topic is it's almost one year to, one the day year to the day that I had a fight with the YouTube commentary people revolving around a similar topic. I literally I do. Yeah, you... Listen, you defended a, like a drawn seven-year-old. 
saying it was not Lolicon. It was like Kaiwei or Kawaii. Is that what it is? I don't give a fuck. And I don't think that this dude's a pedophile, but like, that's what I'm saying. You ride or die too hard for your friends, man. It's weird. Um, <clears throat> that shit, I saw that picture. That was fucking weird, dude. I think the best defense was when people were like, that's a seven year old drawn girl in like a string bikini. He was like, well, actually, it was a boy. Oh, fuck. You're right. It's okay if boys get drawn in disgusting ways. Like, what the fuck? Come on, dude. <laughs> it looks so bad optically because he actually did, and I don't think he tried to, but he basically defended like that lollicon picture, man. It's like, that looks really bad. You're talking about optics. That's the guy defending Vosh. It's like, come on, man. You gotta. <sighs> come on, bro. Come on, man. You're like 30 something and you can't realize that that picture is inappropriate. You like your friends that much. I don't like a friend enough to defend them on this kind of accusation. I'll tell you that much. No one in my life. Okay. And Vosh doesn't care about you, by the way. He, he doesn't mean anything to you. So why are you even considering him friends? You know, like, what are you doing? I don't know. Ethan's phone number. He gave it to me. I'll try to call him later. Do not fucking call me. <laughs> I funny. don't remember giving you my phone number. I don't remember talking to you on the phone. But do not fucking call me, please. Do you want to know the context of that? No, not really, to be honest with you. What's the context? It was back when Twitter circles... Oh, now I get it. I don't care. And oh, I, was, okay. I was suicidal. It was before Based. I went to rehab. And he saw a Twitter circle where I was talking about how I wanted to just fucking end it. Okay. And he reached out and gave me his phone number. Wow, what a nice guy. <laughs> wow, Ethan's a nice guy. That's what the context was. Okay. Damn. Piece of shit. It's like really I don't understand. What does that make? That makes him look like a good person. I don't understand why you think that makes him look bad. The context is that when you were, um, sorry, this might be me gasping for attention, possibly. You know. Uh, he took the bait. Listen, some people have these 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 thoughts, and that's a terrible thing, and you should get help. But when you communicate on the internet, I feel like it's for attention. I think that there is a difference. You know. Um. You know, talk to your mom or your dad or your tipster. I guess you guys are good friends or somebody in private, you know? Don't go baiting on the internet. <sighs> but okay. Uh, really f***ed up with the context that I have his phone number because I was planning to kill myself. And now it's yeah. just like a big joke Damn. laughing at me. Crazy. So again, what did Ethan take out of context in relation to Vosh? They don't have anything, so they start taking Ethan out of context. He says, I watch Lolly. And people who watch Lolly want to fuck kids. Therefore, I want to fuck kids. That's, <laughs> that makes sense. Like, it's pretty, it's like a clean equation. I'm going to happily dab up with the Nazis. you got to get a life. Think about horse cock. Tacoma's weeping right now, bro. Wow, yeah. you're bringing up the horse cock DMs from 2018. Really? Really? You want to play that game? No, I don't care. All right. I don't think Felix is Didn't Vosh say that it was funny, the, the, the horse thing? The racist person. He I mean, just was really comfortable using that word. play that game. <laughs> it's a wonderful game. <laughs> wow, Ethan, what the fuck? Dude, you should get up. Listen, not for nothing. Racism isn't as bad as child harm. So I, even if this was, even if he felt this way, I don't really think people would care. <laughs> I'm not trying to be that guy, but you know, um, I don't know, but okay. No life. Why are you saying the N word in the F slur? That's <sighs> it's all. Come on. Come on, Jalen. It's a little ironic coming from you too. Don't you think? Not okay. You're not black. You're not gay. I actually am black. Wow. You homophobic <laughs> racist. Gay. Dude, what's wrong with you? That's so up. You two can play that game. Jalen Vosh is doing this stuff today. It's still on his computer. Jalen has loads of tweets saying Lolly is bad, but not when Vosh does it for some reason. And <laughs> what? Let's see. Hey, it's still on his computer. Jalen has loads of. Let's see. Lolly Khan is pedophilia. Loads okay. of tweets. Why is it always the anime a Lolly MMFs being racist or transphobic? Like you literally a pedophile. You got no room. Saying for Lolly is. If your justification for killing, liking Lolly is to post some long ass paragraph about how Lolly is actually not that bad and is better than hurting real children, you sound like a pedophile. Like, that doesn't make you look any better, LMAO. It's bad. Yes, Lolly is a bad thing. I said it's bad. Okay, it's disgusting. <clears throat> but not when Vosh does it for some reason. And I'm still. <sighs> Damn, that's rough. That's rough, sister. That's just rough. Waiting. What was taken out of context by Ethan? Nobody has an example. It also just doesn't look good that these people have tons of skeletons in their closet. Draylon is friends with someone who has inappropriately messaged minors. But did the Natty Forceps individual ask the child for nudes on Snapchat? I remember that. I remember it seemed to boil down to like they didn't know the age or something. Um, yeah. You know. 
just to be clear for them. Even in a, if you say joke, whatever, did that happen? Yes. Tipster is like Lolly in the past, and Keffles ran a Catboy Ranch Discord that had alleged grooming in it. She admitted she was in the Discord and ran a Twitter account of the same name. I'm not saying these people are guilty of anything, but I am saying it's a shame this is Vosh's defense team. Not to mention the hypocrisy of them calling Kimapito in 2022 over and over again for dating someone who is of age is palpable. I love hentai. It helps me control my rape tendency. What the fuck? <laughs> Vosh thinks this is hot. Vosh is a deep dark rabbit hole. His career started with him harassing a girl over Discord. Destiny had to kick him out of his community for it. Poppy is not. Yeah, like he was like sexually harassing them. And then, you know, instead of being like, oh, sorry, he just said that they weren't mentally capable or some shit. I remember that. Because that's why I didn't want to talk to this guy. I was supposed to have a conversation with him a while ago, like years ago. And then I saw that and I'm like, ew, like it's one thing to be pushy. It's another thing to you know be a fucking scumbag about it i guess you'd say victim blame i don't know <clears throat> it's fucking weak crazy not worth apologizing to she is barely worth the in intrinsic human rights to which all human beings are endowed okay um it, she is a disgusting human being and that doesn't mean what i did wasn't wrong it does mean i will never apologize to her but i would love to have okay. her on stream sometime because she is a nervous anxious neurotic liar and it would be really really easy to reduce her to a sobbing mess Wow, that seems really weird that you'd want to do that to that person. Okay. Um, publicly. Would this make me look better in the public eye? No, it would make me look worse. But it would be very satisfying. He has taken Destiny out of context, actually out of context, and then pushed false allegations. When he was doing his, like, apologia arc and, like, laughing and saying that, like, a woman who was raped was a retarded child. What he's crying about now, he actually did in his past. There is so much more to talk about, but that will have to be for another video. Subscribe to the channel. Also be... Oh, I guess we're going to get a round two on the, uh, on the old Vowshi poo situation okay be sure to check out aura in the description shout out to the homies over on patreon phoebes crimson glass christina bean mac monkey drink kobex necro you know the deal you know when we end the video Ali stefan bildman abby blackbird eddie bizzle tiz mcfit christopher h kanklemore sarah muma and the mega homies reynold hughes hellison igp cones zombie fox your taxi latchkey goth boy cyber katie lori loaded papa gut boom done so incredible stuff